Hello folks, now let's move away from Linux for a while and I'm going to show you how uh, every 3D application like uh, RealFlow, Inheres, Autodesk Maya uh, and all marvelous uh, designers Zebras, this is my data is working on Windows 10 yeah, you see uh, Photoshop as well Adobe Photoshop uh, CC so everything is working fine on Windows 10 with the effect and this is uh, Maya's uh, Zebras I like this it's working fine for me yeah so uh, even though on the Microsoft website it uh, declared that it has a lot of problem it has a lot of this and that uh, actually it it doesn't cause any problem for me so far and I upgrade from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 technical preview I can show you that if you just to save the fact here technical preview build hope you guys can see it clearly uh, let me change this to uh, personal life background maybe I choose something that uh, is easier for you to hear you see window technical previews and I love it even even though the interface you, you look at the interface is uh, clearly different and it it quite quite not not fast as uh, I'm not Linux buyers uh, even though I use Linux most of the time I, I quite like it I use window because of the zebras and also Photoshop in fact zebras mainly because we zebra doesn't run well you see the system window technical preview so I have two computers at home I use uh, heavy task visual effect and everything on Linux box while I use some uh, photo editing HDRI uh, everything on uh, window especially a uh, zebra I'm not a character artist I'm an animator uh, however it's also cool to have some other stuff on window as well it quite fast and it working fine you see in here uh, this is my uh, I'm going to let's say I'm going to import a file that I just export from zebras it is my own personal project mostly I don't do all this stuff for money uh, if I want to do it for money uh, at a company everything has a license so yeah you see it's working fine even though it uh, doesn't have a good topology around here and if you look this is a Z mesh that I uh, come from this model I don't like this maybe I go for something dark yes oh, I'm keyboard stupid now it's just a little bit not because of the technical error but because of the <laughs> we use a lot of uh, software so Zebras is one keyboard Maya is one keyboard Photoshop is another keyboard uh, Houdini is another keyboard, uh, Nuke is another keyboard and then that costs a lot of stupid among us so let me go to the sub tool I can turn thing on see it's working fine this is my personal giant wow uh, I'm not going to win an award for this it is just uh, a little bit of stuff that I do you see it working fine on window 10 a technical preview and also real flow you see it's working cool as well it doesn't have um, any problem in running fine and another one is Mavala designer it's also cool and Photoshop as well I can open it up do anything I want yeah see with the pressure sensitive since I use a uh, Wacom tablet Oh, one thing about all this Wacom, all this uh, external the white, and also your Nvidia stuff as well. If you you are scared, especially if you are using Linux, I use a uh, CentOS most of the time. So when you try to update a kernel or anything, it tends to cause you a lot of problems, especially with the Nvidia driver. Also, if you are using Ubuntu, uh, <coughs> this problem will be the same. For those who upgrade from 14.04 to 14.10, uh, will have a lot of problem with Nvidia so you have to wait for a while but for this window stuff 
all you have to do is to download the ISO uh, let me go to the uh, window website I hope my internet is fast enough for you and I saw you have to upgrade so let's say uh, window 10 download <coughs> you just go to the technical preview and it asks you a lot of uh, stupid questions just ignore that and go to download if you will from the United States for whatever you version you actually want they have Portuguese, Chinese, uh, UK and US I download this one and it come out in an ISO file so you don't you do not need to burn it onto the DVD or any USB just double click the ISO file to look into that if you are using Windows 8 or 8.1 don't do not need to extract or anything make sure that your internet is on uh, after you download it I accidentally deleted the data I hope I can show you that I'm sorry for this I accidentally deleted it just download that go into the ISO file and then you will see a setup just right click and run the setup as administrator with your internet on it will run everything through from calculating your hard day, your spec uh, running everything just like you install window and then it will do a kind of normal setup I mean basically just like uh, Ubuntu, uh, CentOS and most of the Linux stuff if you upgrade it will check all the required repository and software and kernel and anything run through all the stuff and it will update uh, the, the update it doesn't cause any uh, problem to your existing window 8.1 it's just a free upgrade so everything will be intact even the music, the file, the textures and everything your data are all intact it doesn't affect anything at all it's just like uh, when you reboot everything is done you come back to window 10 technical preview uh, just like here right uh, right down here but it requires you to activate on internet because window is not active so turn on your internet and then just click active and everything is activated with this uh, I know this is going to expire next year in somewhere around April and May but I don't care I love something new I want to test something uh, quite uh, for I want to test something that is uh, let's say a Wolverine style uh, try to run because you can heal easily you can uh, do something cool with it of course window is a little bit behind uh, a Linux in terms of many things uh, especially Windows 10 has introduced a new uh, desktop workspace which is quite 10 years ago for Linux user I'm not saying anything bad about window Windows still uh, run in the market well I mean it dominate the market <coughs> even though most of the time Linux run everything so I'm not going to spark a war between window and Linux use whatever you feel at home with it use whatever you feel comfortable with it because on the client perspective they don't care whatever you use whatever so where with the 3ds Mac studio Mac Maya Houdini new after effect or whatever they trust me they give no dime about it they let's say a big word they give a fuck about that they don't give it they don't give a fuck about that they care only the result as long as it looks good also this is the new interface they come up with all of this just like the old style all application where you have to search through unfortunately some application doesn't appear here uh, even though you just hand them through it doesn't especially the foundry stuff so you want to do that just come to the window program file here's Mari and in the bundle bin I'm looking for Mari icon here I simply right click and pin a start now let's take a look here it's come here so when I click uh, Mari is a little bit uh, cool for touch painting especially if you are doing modern 4k uh, filming Mod yeah just do it that way also the verbose here uh, it's not like before it's like a terminal in Linux uh, the cool thing about it right now is that uh, okay Mario is running let me go to the verbose of that uh, what we say command line in, win in window in fact it's a terminal you see you can expand it uh, yeah, so if you are a uh, I'm sorry I'm using paper if you are a Linux user you feel at home with this command you can write this as a terminal of yours but with a little bit of syntax different from from those I I can live with that it's fine for me it's okay so Mari is working you see this is the old the old file that I used to work on that I saw you earlier on my project of how to render speed tree and animal <coughs> see oh a little bit stupid with this so I will try to change 
Day preferences. Was it a navigation? Yeah, it's Maya. Cool, but it seemed to be wrong. Which, uh, anyway, it's it's okay. So everything is working. It doesn't call any problem. It doesn't have any uh, technical error or anything at all. I'm sorry for my nap shoe. He's still not asleep yet, even though it's 1 a.m. So you simply just come down, look for your data, and then right-click, pin it to start. So I hope all of you who really want to test, or want to experience, or want to yeah mess around with uh, with whatever you actually want with the software with the new uh, OS, just try it. It, but don't try it on your real workstation because this will cause a lot of problems, especially if you are doing a project for your client. That will be a big problem, my friend. Okay, that's it, folks. If you have any question or have any problem, please contact me on my YouTube channel. Thank you.